Uh, this Sunday, our buddy Ryan Fitzpatrick starts for the Buccaneers against the Eagles. And I just love this stat. It involves my Eagles anyhow. Fitz will now have started against the Eagles six times in his career with six different franchises. Hmm. The only time he's won against them was with the Buffalo Bills. But that is Fitz. He's coming off the player of the week in the NFL. And the reason I bring him up this week, not just because he's playing the Eagles, but because the Bills have failed twice in order to have fits. And I think he would have changed a lot of things here. They never should have gotten rid of him the year they were looking to get EJ Manuel as the quarterback. They'd already paid him, given him the big bonus. They should have kept him around. He would have been a perfect bridge guy to lead to EJ or whoever else they drafted. And then at the Eric Wood news conference this past year that never became a news conference, who was there? Fitz. What did we talk to Fitz about? Maybe playing football again. Would you like to come back to Buffalo? Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen, but I always loved it in Buffalo. Wouldn't he have been a perfect guy to bring back? Because he'd be starting right now, and you'd be waiting on Josh Allen, even if you made the deal. Now, the Bills failed a couple of times to keep Fitz. We know what he is. He'll eventually fail again, because that's what he does. But for a while, he would have been great. And it's really tough to pull off a beard like that. Some <laughs> people can't do it, but Fitz gets it done. And we'll see what he does I this like week. Because that that's what he does. Has there ever been another guy like him? I don't think, think so. I, it's so hard to start. He's actually started for seven franchises because he started for the Titans, too, who's had such success and then low points. And everybody knows how it's going to end. And a little in between. He's just that type of player.